YouTube and welcome back to another Film Geek Movie Spotlight. Today I'm talking about the 2015 film Justice League Gods and Monsters. Don't they ever shut up? At least 50 dead in the Embassy Massacre. And not just dead, dismembered, burnt alive, sucked of their blood, a virtual house of horrors. Granted, the victims were part of a terrorist organization. Wondered when you'd mention that. But what about our terrorist organization? What about the Justice League? Justice League Gods and Monsters is directed by Sam Lau, and it's starring Benjamin Bratt, Michael C. Hall, and Tamara Taylor. Justice League Gods and Monsters is an animated VOD film that features an alternate version of the three core members of the Justice League. In this universe, Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman are not the same people that we're used to. In this universe, Bruce Wayne isn't Batman. Instead, his name is Kurt Langstrom, and he's a genetically created vampire. Longtime fans of Batman Batman might know the name Kurt Langstrom, but by a different name, Man Bat, a longtime villain of Batman that dates back to the Silver Age. Superman isn't Kal-El, son of Jor-El, the last son of Krypton. He's the son of General Zod, the last son of Krypton. And he wasn't found by the Kent family in Smallville, Kansas. No, he was found by a poor immigrant family in a border town in Texas. And in this universe, Wonder Woman isn't an Amazon, but she is still a god, just one of the new gods. Her name is Becca, and she's the wife of Orin, the son of Darkseid, ruler of Apocalypse. You get all that? Okay, so now that's out of the way. What's this movie about? Well, the plot's actually kind of simple. The bunch of scientists are murdered, and the Justice League is framed for their murders. Yeah, after all that, that's the plot. That's all there is. So what do I like about this movie? First off, I'd like to talk about the reimagining of the characters. I really like where the film went with this. I like the fact that General Zod is Superman's father. I like the fact that Man Bat is Batman. And Wonder Woman is a really great reimagining also, bringing the new gods into this. I like the usage of characters that are lesser known, that a lot of people might not be familiar with in the DC Universe. I feel like it adds another layer of this film to long-term fans of the DC Universe. The animation in this film is also really well done. It's very similar to the Batman animated series, the JLA series, and the Superman animated series that was on television back in the 90s and 2000s. And I really dig it. I think it's very simplistic and it adds a very timeless feel to the film. All in all, this film is a really fun and unique take on three pop culture icons that we're very used to. And if you're curious and you want to check this movie out and you're a subscriber of HBO Max, well, you can watch it right now. Otherwise, you're going to have to rent it on YouTube, Amazon Prime, or Google Movies. Okay, guys, that brings us to the end of another Film Geek video. If you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and give me the old thumbs up so I know you like what you're seeing. And if there's another thing you can do, folks, that is keep watching movies. You know I'm gonna.